Hi, thanks for watching Tech Talk. I'm Sergio with Arvig. Today we're looking at computers again, um, but we're actually going to be talking about computer cables. If you think to the history of computers, it used to be that cables were proprietary. Um, if you had a Macintosh computer or a PC, and that P even if that PC was from different manufacturers like IBM or, or whoever, they all used their own cables. M mice and printers and stuff didn't use universal cables, they used very specific ones. Luckily we've evolved a little bit since then, and now cables are generally more universal or adaptable for many different purposes and they do lots of different things and work across many different computers. Windows, PCs, tablets, even cell phones sometimes use these types of cables. So I'm going to show you some of the basics. You may have used all of these cables before, but just had no idea what they were called or their exact purpose. And uh, we'll learn a little bit more and take a look now. This first cable we're looking at is called a USB cable. And if you've never seen this cable before, I'd be very surprised. There's a few different versions. This is the most typical or the most standard. Um, USB was developed as sort of a universal cable when in the 90s when they were trying to develop a cable that could be used for lots of different things. Uh, printers, cameras, any sort of um, accessory. So USB actually stands for Universal Serial Bus. Um, this is in a time when there was a cable called just a serial cable that could only be used for certain things. This one's more universal in that it can be used for lots of things. Very, very easy to use. It's, it's considered plug and play. You plug one end into the device, the other end into your computer. It's digital so that it can install that device for you automatically. Very important again um, when you're coming from a time when a, a, a serial, what's called a serial cable was common and that was not digital. It could not just automatically install devices for you. Great cable, still used widely today. The, most, the newest version is called USB 3.0, which is hundreds of times faster than the original USB 1.0 that came out all those years ago. The next cable uh, is sort of from the USB days as well, but is still used today. Uh, it's called Firewire, and this is showing two different types of ends. One's a mini end and one's a standard end. The mini end might go into something like a video camera, and the other end into a computer. This was developed because USB and other cables weren't fast enough for certain purposes. Uh, the main one at the time being capturing video. So if you had a video camera and you were trying to capture video from that camera to your computer, you needed a ca cable that could carry all that data instantaneously. And Firewire was designed because it could do it. Apple was actually a big proprietary and one of the first companies to build Firewire into their computers and other manufacturers sort of followed suit. It's fallen by the wayside a little bit today um, because of faster technologies, but it is still around on video cameras. Next is another cable developed by Apple called Thunderbolt. You may not have seen this one much yet because it's brand new, um, barely been around for more than a year or two. It's the fastest cable type out there right now, even faster than USB 3.0, faster than that Firewire. It's developed with a combination of copper and optical technologies. And when I say optical, I mean um, like fiber optics, like the, the super fast cables we have, uh, internet providers have in the ground. This is so fast to use for multiple things at once. One cable can hook up to a, a TV or a computer monitor and to a hard drive and to a, uh, a computer and you can daisy chain them and move data across that one cable and it can carry the video signal, the data, um, all faster than USB. Mainly only used by Apple right now but um, other people are building it now too. The last two cables we'll look at are going to be video cables and I want to explain the difference between them. This first one is called VGA, very common yet today but was more um, popular and was the only video cable in the 90s and the early 2000s. Um, and this next one I'll show is called DVI. The difference between them is one is digital and one is analog. So the VGA cable is analog and the DVI cable is digital. The difference being, uh, as an old saying or as an old comparison, records, music records were analog, CDs are digital. In general, digital can have a higher quality um, uh, picture and it's also more automatic. So if you use a DVI cable for your computer monitor, it can automatically detect the resolution and set it all up for you and know what the monitor is. Very neat and still used today. So that's just the beginning of computer cables. If you've ever looked behind your desktop PC or you know, um, hook up uh, different cables to your laptop. You've probably seen a rat's nest of large different types, maybe some cables that we didn't discuss here today. Um, those are some of the most basics though, and I think it's really important for everyone to know kind of what they're called and what they do. So if you ever talk to a professional or a friend who says, oh yeah, I think the problem is your VGA cable, now you have a good idea of what that is. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, why don't you let us know? 
Give us a call at 888-99-ARVIG or visit arvig.com or the Arvig Facebook page or just stop into one of our many Arvig stores.